What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of The Market Overview, guys. Today, today we got the same contract roll gap and go. If you look back here, this was the last contract roll we had. We had a gap and go, which we thought we were probably going to get. Again, if you're on the Sunday Sermon, which is an exclusive um, you know, Sunday watch list video, market overview video that only comes out on Sundays, uh, we talked about this level at four, uh, 4509 on the contract roll over here. So if we don't make a new low overnight, I would expect for us to move on higher, which we did. Okay, which we did. Now I need to zoom out here because that looks horrible. Okay. Okay, and then we talked about what level? We talked about 4545. We got to in the pre-market right before the open uh, offered a great short opportunity for about 20 handles on yes but first but not uh excuse me firstly you got to go check uh, investing.com get to see what's going on for tomorrow really a big old nothing burger right big old nothing burger nothing comes out tomorrow we got the red book uh before market open but that's it nothing comes out tomorrow that is big why because i'm really only gonna be able to see it here uh, on a Wednesday core C P I that's going to be the big print. So what does that mean for us tomorrow? Well, for tomorrow, I'm really going to be watching. We've seen how big of a top this has been here at, um, 45, 45, numerous touches. I mean, I had a little look above and then fail down here, which, um, basically just count as another touch into this 45, 45, you see how many touches in this area we've had. So tomorrow, it's either 45, 45 breaks or bust, right? So that's going to be watching unless overnight we just completely sell off to oblivion. I have no idea what's going to happen. Obviously, we don't have any pre-market data. don't have any data after the market opens. So just going to see what the pajama traders are going to do for us. But it's all going to be focused on 45, 45. I think if we fail that level again, that's going to be the short opportunity. I'm going to see if we can ride that all the way down to this 4509 level at the beginning of this gap on es from there i would be looking at the bounce initially intraday tomorrow initially looking at the bounce but ultimately i think we could possibly get this gap filled with cpi coming and ppi the day after we are going to get a lot of movement if we do see any downside i do believe this gap does get filled but possibly comes on wednesday or Thursday, but for tomorrow, 45, 45 or bust. Going to make it kind of easy for us. Trading is not easy, but that's a um, one of the better levels of interest. We either break, make the higher low above and get going to 45, 60, 45, 75. Okay, or we reject, and I, I believe we go down, see the low of today, 45, 20 area, then down into a 45, 09, make it easy to watch for the bounce there. Break and hold under 45, 09, obviously. Gap to fill 4468. Spy chart here, guys. We went right to where this morning, right? If you're in the walls of wealth, we said, look, it's going to be that 44850 level is going to be the reject level. I mean, we got right to it right at the open. I mean, it was almost so textbook. Look at the five minute chart here. I mean, look at that. Equal candles, not closing above, wicking above, trapping all the longs, bring it down. Short and then look to where we bounced at, right? Looking to where we bounced at, you can see, okay, you can see from yesterday's low, uh, high of the day area, right? If you just draw like a little box in here, okay, and you go down to where the close price is here, right? You can just see, like, look, this is an area of interest where we drop back into we look to get the longs here right so that area held it was also the 200 ma so you're looking at yesterday's high of the day ish area which we all knew was this 447 we dipped a little below sure thing but we held the 200 so you could have taken the calls but not the greatest trading day honestly because from here to here you got a about a dollar point range and when you finally melt it up in the middle of the day when no one's watching you stayed in a you know 50 cent range for, you know, what, two hours, almost two and a half hours. Right. So you had to catch that move in the morning and be patient on some long dated calls, because if you took anything short dated sideways movement is an absolute killer for you. Uh, if you're trading anything very, very short trade, but plan for tomorrow, going to be really easy again, 448.50 or bus, right? Similar to the ES chart, 448.50 or bus break and hold, or bust if we do not get above that i'd be looking for the reject there if we break and hold above i want to see a break maybe a flag above it and then they move back higher and i'm looking at 451 50 453 okay 
Uh, if we do not get above it, we reject. I will be looking at the lows of today, 446.50. Ultimately, I think 444 comes. I would be looking at a bounce here at 444 initially. QQQ, what's going on in tech world? What's going on here in tech land? Uh, we knew that this 374.75 was going to be the area to hold, right? That was from Friday's highs. Uh, it held, we went to where? 377.50, 378 was the levels that we had. We went right to it, touched it on the noggin. So for tomorrow, it's either break and hold for the continuation higher, takes us up to 380. Okay, break and hold today's high, 377.50 area uh, to take us higher. If not, if we reject, want to look for a move back down to about 374, 372 underneath there. At 372 to 370, I'd be looking for bounces in that area. But I think it's going to be all about this. This um, We have break of structure, right? We made a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Right. So does that does that does that continue? Right. You're going to look at this 375, possibly higher lows above 375 or higher highs above 377.50. OK, 377.50. So just watch for that. And then last but not least, IWM. IWM just floating, just floating sideways, not quite ready to get down to test these one these uh, Friday lows quite yet. Right. Got above 185, but quickly rejected back down, right? So we said we had to break and hold above 185. That didn't happen. It seems like we're now just going to be kind of building out in this same little, right? In this same little balance zone here now. Like, is this, is are we just going to make ourselves comfy in here? So any dips down into here, 183, I'm still looking for this balance on the hold to take us back to 185. Any one to four hour candles above 185 would open up that 187.50 area, 186, 187.50, all the way up here, basically top of that range. So, right. So, going to be watching 183 to hold tomorrow. If we do dip down, um, one, you can really do 182.50 to 183. You can see these dips into here have been bought up. So, just watch down in this area. Your area of interest is looking at longs in this area underneath 182, really. Uh, you could target shorts to take you down to 179.50, which I would look for the longs down there. But guys, that's all I got for you. Nothing burger on all the data tomorrow. Just remember, we got CPI on Wednesday. So if you're going to be holding anything overnight, anything short dated, that is extremely high risk, especially on the indices. So know that don't do anything stupid when it comes to over leveraging, straddling, whatever. Guys, just let the market dictate what it wants to, how it wants to respond to the data and then you respond to the price. We are professional reactors. We are not professionals predictors. Okay, get that through your head. But guys, that's all I got for you. Wake up early, get your levels right. And of course, don't do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.